Hello and greetings fellow StarCrafters, PGO Milmcraft here with a 1 versus 1 between the Protoss player Digitanas Naniwa, which is now Complexity is Naniwa, up here in the upper, well, I guess the, the middle left corner, I don't know, it's not a corner, just the left side of the, of the map, and down here in the 6 o'clock position is E.G. Huck. This map is Metalopolis, as I always talk about, one of my favorite maps, also removed from the ladder pool quite sadly. Looks like Huck is actually very early on microing his probe so that he's doubling up on the closer mineral patches uh, to get that just a little bit extra boost of minerals. And actually you can see the boost right now is he is just a little bit higher of minerals on his opponent. Looks like there was a pause there and there was a countdown and not sure exactly what happened with that. This is in fact, uh, as I said, game three. So it is the rubber game between these two players and very interesting games we've seen so far. We've seen... Um, I guess the last game was a little bit more standard. I'm not quite sure. I think it was, I mean, it was really risky for Naniwa to be able to move forward with only three gateways. And on such circumstances, it's very difficult to win when your opponent four gates as your forces are out in the middle of the open. He lost his zealot right away to basically no kills. He had to build two pylons that he can't, he was able to cancel them, luckily. If he wasn't able to cancel them, it would be a huge loss, but it still was 50 minerals that he had to lose. Which, in a Protoss versus Protoss, every mineral counts. And so it's just, uh, it's really important to be able to, I suppose, you know, um, s save all your minerals. And that aggression, I think, ended up hurting him as Huck was able to j chase him back home. And Huck actually already had uh, the pilot in place. And because he already had that pilot in place, first of all, Naniwa was unable to look for it because he was out doing his aggression. And second of all, um, his forces were out in the middle of the map. And so Huck had a couple of stalkers at home that took a little while to get home, but Naniwa also had a stalker that was on its way back uh, that Huck was able to, unable to deal with. Now, I think it would have been possible for Huck, and on top of that, Naniwa decided to get a couple of sentries. Nice hide here from Naniwa. Uh, Naniwa decided to get a couple of sentries to be able to st uh, force field the ramp, but first of all, he missed with one of his force fields, and second of all, it didn't do anything because the stalkers got there a lot sooner than he was anticipating, so he wasn't able to actually block the ramp with the sentries, and sentries just aren't that good at dealing damage. Now, looks like Naniwa is just slightly faster with his warp gate. He's also is chrono boosting it. He didn't save too much chrono boost but very easily he could be forgetting or he could be not forgetting on this map it's a lot easier to not forget just because the ramp is so small that sentries can easily force field it and stop anyone from being able to come up looks like nani was zealot is out and apparently that's going to scare away huck's probe or huck figures at least that the sentry will be out soon enough that there's no point keeping his probe around looks like huck, huck has opted for three gateways right now it'll be interesting to see if he opts for a fourth gateway Naniwa is opting for a fourth gateway, so H Naniwa will in fact be four gating. Uh, so we might see a very similar game to the previous game, except with the roles reversed. Not quite sure though, as it does depend exactly on what tech Huck decides to go for. Huck has not opted to get a fourth gateway right now. He's also nice. Was able to in fact he sent the stalker to move around all of these different places, and looks like he's actually having a, just a little bit of trouble chasing down that probe. Oh, and actually this could be very bad if these... Oh, Nani was just going to keep building. I'm not sure why I didn't take out that probe there. So I think Huck is just going to try to focus down all of these uh, pylons here. But if the pylons survive, it should be very difficult for Huck to deal with. There is also one pylon which is powering, I think, three of the or two of the three gateways right there. So if that pylon goes down, it could be, Huck could be in a very precarious situation. Looks like those pylons did finish. Warpgate is finished for... Digitas Nani was well, so he will be warping in some additional units right now. Um, as he does have four stalkers coming in right here. Huck only has three gateways. He's in a very dangerous situation. He also did not offer that zealot, or he lost that zealot. So Huck is going to be uh, uh, Huck is going to be in a very dangerous situation right here. We do have another stalker coming up from Digitas Naniwa. Huck, meanwhile, is going to have to show a lot of really good micro with his stalker. So far, he's doing a pretty good job. He has focused on that stalker into the right. He's going to want to finish that off pretty quickly right there. But it looks like he is going to lose a stalker of his own. It's going to be very hard to hold this off as he does only have... Oh, no, he does have four gateways. Oh, I totally missed the fourth gateway. That was my bad there. So he is not down a gateway. However... 
Um, it looks like Naniwa does have a higher number of stalkers at this point in time. Huck's doing a decent job at microing right now, being able to pick off the weakened stalkers, but I think he is too far behind at this point in time. He is down by 13 supply at this point. Um, as a number of uh, as a number of probes were actually taken out by that initial engagement from the stalker and the zealot, and a couple of zealot advantage is actually going to Naniwa. So the zealots are going to be able to deal a lot of damage. It looks like the zealots are actually just fighting Huck's zealots as well, and Naniwa is actually going to be able to take this game in this Protoss versus Protoss match. Very nice job from Naniwa, able to hide that probe. Huck did check for the probe, but he checked for it just a little bit too late as the probe was able to lay down three pylons right there. And actually, there was a little bit of a dance from his stalker as he, like, was trying to decide if he should shoot at the pylon or shoot at the probe. And I think if he had used both of his stalkers to take out the probe right away, then he could have then focused on the last pylon, and then that would have been a lot easier to hold off. Um, as my assessment with this, I don't know how I missed that fourth gateway. Uh, maybe it was laid during the combat. Uh, but anyway, um, it is, it is you know, it's a lot easier to hold off these four gate rushes, obviously, when your opponent doesn't have a pylon in, in its vicinity, and uh, Naniwa hadn't sent an additional probe, so if these pylons had, or if this, these, this pylon had been taken out and these two had been pushed back, then it would have been taken, at least at a minimum, taken Naniwa a while to get down there in order to be able to attack, and Huck certainly would have been in a much better position to be able to defend against it. He wouldn't have to defend against both sides. As you saw, the Stalker and Zealot came down here, started taking out probes, while Huck's forces we're trying to deal with the stalkers that were warping it over on this side. So, very good game, very nice series from these two players, and, you know, some really nice micro, really, between these two players. And I really enjoyed watching this, hope you did too. This is PGL Mildcraft, signing off. Thanks for watching.